Today, I want to address the biggest threat to the poor around the world, high and volatile food prices. Today, we're releasing an updated food price watch, and the numbers tell a grim story of persistent grinding pressure on the world's poor. Food prices were not the cause of the crises in the Middle East and North Africa, but they are an aggravating factor. Our latest food price watch shows that there's double-digit food price inflation in Egypt and Syria. It shows that commodity price spikes particularly hurt poor countries. With food prices, we're at a real tipping point. Food prices are 36% above the levels of a year ago and remain close to the 2008 peak. Already, 44 million people have fallen into poverty since June of last year. If the food price index rises by just another 10%, we estimate another 10 million people will fall into extreme poverty. That's where people live on less than a dollar and a quarter a day. And a 30% increase would add 34 million more people to the world's poor, who number 1.2 billion. In Tunisia, the World Bank will support the authorities on a $500 million budget support operation that should leverage another $700 million from other donors. These reforms will focus on freedom of association, access to information, transparency in public procurement. In addition, we're going to support government efforts to try to reduce regional economic disparities, to cut red tape, boost accounting and controls with the audit agency, and create an employment pilot program. 